The United States Army Reserve is the reserve force of the United States Army. Together, the Army Reserve and the Army National Guard constitute the Army element of the reserve components of the United States Armed Forces. On 30 June 2016, Lieutenant General Charles D. Lucky became the 33rd Chief of Army Reserve, and Commanding General, United States Army Reserve Command USARC. On 2 November 2012, Command Sergeant Major James Lambert was sworn in as the Interim Command Sergeant Major of the Army Reserve, serving as the Chief of the Army Reserve's Senior Advisor on all enlisted soldier matters, particularly areas affecting training, leader development, mobilization, employer support, family readiness and support, and quality of life. History Origins <inaudible> 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 On 23 April 1908 Congress created the Medical Reserve Corps, the official predecessor of the Army Reserve. After World War I, under the National Defense Act of 1920, Congress reorganized the U.S. land forces by authorizing a regular army, a National Guard, and an organized reserve, officers reserve corps and enlisted reserve corps of unrestricted size, which later became the Army Reserve. This organization provided a peacetime pool of trained reserve officers and enlisted men for use in war. The organized reserve included the Officers Reserve Corps, Enlisted Reserve Corps, and Reserve Officers Training Corps ROTC. <laughs> Interwar period and World War II The organized reserve infantry divisions raised immediately after World War I continued the lineage and geographic area distribution of National Army divisions that had served in the war. They were maintained on paper with all of their officers and one-third of their enlisted men. Units in other arms of the Army besides infantry, most notably cavalry, field artillery and engineers were also formed. Organized reserve units, depending upon their geographic area, maintained relationships with one or several colleges or universities, which populated them with officers through the ROTC. In the event of war, organized reserve officers and enlisted men would be called to duty to form the corps of the divisions they were assigned to, and also be moved to other parts of the army that needed officers. Service in the organized reserve during the interwar period was not as appealing as the army expected. Most divisions reached their full complement of officers, but had less than 100 enlisted men, since there was no incentive for them to serve. The 101st Infantry Division was designated a division of the Organized Reserve after World War I and assigned to the state of Wisconsin. Unlike the 82nd Airborne Division, the Reserve Division was disbanded when the 101st Airborne Division was raised in the Army of the United States on 15 August 1942. Cold War A tentative troop basis for the Organized Reserve Corps Orc, prepared in March 1946, outlined 25 divisions, 3 armored, 5 airborne, and 17 infantry. These divisions and all other Organized Reserve Corps units were to be maintained in one of three strength categories, labeled Class A, Class B, and Class C. Class A units were divided into two groups, one for combat and one for service, and units were to be at required table of organization strength, Class B units were to have their full complement of officers and enlisted cadre strength, and Class C were to have officers only. The troop basis listed nine divisions as Class A, nine as Class B, and seven as Class C. Major General Ray E. Porter therefore proposed reclassification of all Class A divisions as Class B units. Eventually the War Department agreed and made the appropriate changes. Although the dispute over Class A units lasted several months, the War Department proceeded with the reorganization of the Organized Reserve Corps divisions during the summer of 1946. That all divisions were to begin as Class C officers only units, progressing to the other categories as men and equipment became available, undoubtedly influenced the decision. Also, the War Department wanted to take advantage of the pool of trained reserve officers and enlisted men from World War II. By that time Army ground forces had been reorganized as an Army Group headquarters that commanded six geographic armies. 
The armies replaced the nine core areas of the pre-war era, and the army commanders were tasked to organize and train both regular army and organized reserve corps units. The plan the army commanders received called for 25 organized reserve corps divisions, but the divisions activated between September 1946 and November 1947 differed somewhat from the original plans. The 1st United States Army declined to support an airborne division, and the 98th Infantry Division replaced the 98th Airborne Division. After the change, the organized reserve corps had four airborne, three armored, and 18 infantry divisions. The Second Army insisted upon the number 80 for its airborne unit because the division was to be raised in the pre-war 80th Division's area, not that of the 99th. Finally, the 103rd Infantry Division, organized in 1921 in New Mexico, Colorado, and Arizona, was moved to Iowa, Minnesota, South Dakota, and North Dakota in the 5th United States Army area. The 7th Army, later replaced by 3rd Army, allotted the 15th Airborne Division, refused the designation, and the Adjutant General replaced it by constituting the 108th Airborne Division, which fell within that component's list of infantry and airborne divisional numbers. Thus the final tally of divisions formed after World War II appears to have been the 19th, 21st, and 22d Armored Divisions, the 80th, 84th, 100th and 108th Airborne Divisions, and the 76th, 77th, 79th, 81st, 83rd, 85th, 87th, 89th, 90th, 91st, 94th, 95th, 96th, 97th, 98th, 102nd, 103rd, and 104th Infantry Divisions. A major problem in forming divisions and other units in the organized reserve corps was adequate housing. While many National Guard units owned their own armories, some dating back to the 19th century, the organized reserve corps had no facilities for storing equipment and for training. Although the War Department requested funds for needed facilities, Congress moved slowly in response. The organized reserves were redesignated 25 March 1948 as the Organized Reserve Corps. Recognizing the importance of the organized reserve to the World War II effort, Congress authorized retirement and drill pay for the first time in 1948. During the summer and fall of 1951 the six Army commanders in the United States, staff agencies, and the Section V Committee created after World War I for the reserve components to have a voice in their affairs, evaluated Department of the Army reorganization plans for the ORC. The Army commanders urged that all divisions in the Organized Reserve Corps be infantry divisions because they believed that the reserves could not adequately support armored and airborne training. They thought 13, rather than 12, reserve divisions should be maintained to provide a better geographic distribution of the units. The Section V Committee opposed the reduction of the Organized Reserve Corps from 25 to 13 divisions because it feared unfavorable publicity, particularly with the nation at war. On 20 December the Vice Chief of Staff of the United States Army, General John E. Hull, directed the reorganization and redesignation of airborne and armored divisions as infantry as soon as practicable. In March 1952 the 80th, 84th, 100th, and 108th Airborne Divisions were reorganized and redesignated as infantry divisions, and the 63d, 70th, and 75th Infantry Divisions replaced the 13th, 21st, and 22d Armored Divisions. Before the dust had settled on the reforms, the Army realized that it had failed to improve unit manning or meet reasonable mobilization requirements. In the fall of 1952 Army leaders thus proposed that the personnel from the 13 inactivated Army Reserve Divisions be assigned to strengthen the remaining 12 divisions. To keep the unneeded 15 Army Reserve Divisions active, they were to be reorganized as training divisions to staff training centers upon mobilization or man maneuver area commands for training troops. The Continental Army commanders implemented the new Army Reserve Troop basis in 1955 piecemeal. They reorganized, without approved tables of organization, the 70th, 76th, 78th, 80th, 84th, 85th, 89th, 91st, 95th, 98th, 100th, and 108th Infantry Divisions as cadre for replacement training centers and organized the 75th Maneuver Area Command, using the resources of the 75th Infantry Division. Two years later the 75th Infantry Division was inactivated along with 87th Infantry Division. Assets of the 87th were used to organize a maneuver area command, thus one unneeded division remained in the troop basis. While the Korean War was still underway, Congress began making significant changes in the structure and role of the Army Reserve. 
These changes transformed the organized reserve into the United States Army Reserve, from 9 July 1952. This new organization was divided into a ready reserve, standby reserve, and retired reserve. Army Reserve units were authorized 24 inactive duty training days a year and up to 17 days of active duty called annual training. In 1959 the Army decided to realign National Guard and Army Reserve divisions under pentomic structures. Secretary of Defense Neil H. McElroy decided on 10 Army Reserve divisions. By October 1959 10 Army Reserve Infantry Divisions completed their transition, but at a reduced strength. The 11th Combat Division in the Army Reserve, the 104th, was converted to training, for a total of 13 training divisions, all of which were in the Army Reserve. To reorganize the Army Reserve to the new road structures in the early 1960s, the Army staff decided to retain one Army Reserve division in each of the six Army areas and to eliminate four divisions. Army commanders selected the 63d, 77th, 81st, 83d, 90th, and 102d infantry divisions for retention and reorganized them under road by the end of April 1963. Each division had two tank and six infantry battalions. With the elimination of the 79th, 94th, 96th, and 103d infantry divisions, the Army decided to retain their headquarters as a way to preserve spaces for general and field grade officers. It reorganized the units as operational headquarters subsequently called command headquarters division and directed them to supervise the training of combat and support units located in the former divisional areas and to provide for their administrative support. Some former divisional units assigned to the four divisions were used to organize four brigades, which added flexibility to the force as well as provided four general officer reserve billets. In January and February 1963 the 157th, 187th, 191st, and 205th Infantry Brigades were organized with headquarters in Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, Montana, and Minnesota, respectively. The designation of each brigade was derived from the lowest numbered infantry brigade associated with the division under the square structure. As with the regular Army brigades, the number and type of maneuver elements in each Army Reserve Brigade varied. In November 1965, a long-standing controversial goal of the Defense Department, a reduction of the reserve troop basis, was achieved. Those reserve units that were judged unnecessary and others that were undermanned and under-equipped were deleted and their assets used to field contingency forces. Among the units inactivated were the last six combat divisions in the Army Reserve, the 63d, 77th, 81st, 83d, 90th, and 102d Infantry Divisions, and the 79th, 94th, and 96th Command Headquarters Division. The 103d Command Headquarters Division was converted to a support brigade headquarters. A number of U.S. Army Reserve Corps headquarters were disestablished on 31 March 1968. They were reorganized as Army Reserve Commands. Topic: <inaudible> Reserve Service Today. Reserve soldiers perform only part-time duties as opposed to full-time active duty soldiers, but rotate through mobilizations to full-time duty. When not on active duty, reserve soldiers typically perform training, service one weekend per month, currently referred to as battle assembly, and for two continuous weeks at some time during the year referred to as annual training at. Many reserve soldiers are organized into Army Reserve Troop Program Units TPU, while others serve in active Army units as individual mobilization augmentees IMA, or are in non-drilling control groups of the Individual Ready Reserve IRR. Reserve soldiers may also serve on active duty in support of the U.S. Army Reserve in an Active Guard – Reserve status. All United States Army soldiers sign an initial eight-year service contract upon entry into the military. Occasionally, the contract specifies that some of the service will be in the regular Army also called Active Component – AC for two, three, or four years, with the remaining obligation served in the Reserve Component – RC. Though typically, soldiers sign contracts specifying that all eight years be served in the RC, with the first six years in drilling status and the last two years in non-drilling IRR status. Soldiers entering directly into the U.S. Army Reserve nevertheless encompasses a period of initial active duty training 
The amount of time begins with approximately nine weeks of basic combat training BCT, but total IADT time varies according to the enlistee's elected military occupational specialty MOS, which dictates advanced individual training eight. All U.S. Army Reserve soldiers are subject to mobilization throughout the term of their enlistment. Soldiers who, after completing the AC portion of their enlistment contract choose not to re-enlist on active duty, are automatically transferred to the RC to complete the remainder of their statutory obligation eight-year service total and may be served in a Drilling Troop Program Unit TPU, Individual Mobilization Augmentee IMA, or Individual Ready Reserve IRR status. Commissioned officers, warrant officers, and noncommissioned officers of the rank of Staff Sergeant E6 and above are considered to be on indefinite status if they have more than 10 years of service. This no longer applies to re-enlist within indefinite status as part of the Army Reserve. Memo is dated 20,080,110. It is not retroactive. The Army Reserve was composed of 205,000 soldiers as of 2009. Topic importance to the active army In the early 1980s, Army Reserve soldiers constituted the following numbers in U.S. Army units, 100% of training divisions, brigades, and railway units 97% of civil affairs units 89% of psychological operations units 85% of smoke generator companies 78% of petrol, oil, lubricant pole supply companies 62% of Army hospitals 61% of terminal companies 59% of the supply and service capability of the Army 51% of ammunition companies 43% of airborne pathfinder units 43% of watercraft companies 42% of chemical decontamination units 38% of combat support aviation companies 26% of combat engineer battalions 25% of special forces groups smaller percentages of other units and formations such as combat brigades and tank battalions in 1980, the peacetime USAR chain of command was overlaid with a war time trace. In an expansion of the roundout and affiliation programs begun ten years earlier, Capstone purported to align every Army Reserve unit with the active and reserve component units with which they were anticipated to deploy. Units maintained lines of communication with the units, often hundreds or thousands of miles away in peacetime, who would presumably serve above or below them in the event of mobilization. This communication, in some cases, extended to coordinated annual training opportunities. Despite the commonly held belief that capstone traces were set in stone, the process of selecting units to mobilize and deploy in 1990 and 1991 in support of Operation Desert Shield and Desert Storm largely ignored capstone. In the post-Cold War drawdown, all of the Army Reserve's combat units were disbanded, except the 100th Battalion, 442nd Infantry Regiment. This meant the disestablishment of the three remaining Army Reserve Fighting Brigades, the 157th Infantry Brigade mechanized separate of Pennsylvania, the 187th Infantry Brigade separate of Massachusetts, and the 205th Infantry Brigade separate light of Minnesota. Many of the Army Reserve training divisions were realigned as institutional training divisions. With the Army National Guard providing reserve component combat formations and related combat support units, the Army Reserve is configured to provide combat support, combat service support, peacekeeping, nation building and civil support capability. With roughly 20% of the Army's organized units and 5.3% of the Army's budget, the Army Reserve provides about half of the Army's combat support and a quarter of the Army's mobilization base expansion capability. In 2008, the Army Reserve contains the following percentages of the Army's units of each category, 100% of chemical brigades, internment brigades, judge advocate units, medical groups, railway units, training and exercise divisions, and water supply battalions, more than 67% of civil affairs units, psychological operations units, transportation groups, motor battalions, chemical battalions, hospitals, medical brigades, and theater signal commands, nearly 50% of petroleum battalions, adjutant general units, petroleum groups, transportation commands, terminal battalions, and public affairs units. In fiscal years 2007 to 2009, the Army Reserve was realigned into a functional command structure. The majority of Army Reserve units are now assigned to operational and functional commands. Operational commands are deployable elements which command deployable units of the same or similar capabilities regardless of peacetime geographic location. 
For instance, the 377th Sustainment Command Theater commands all Army Reserve Sustainment Units, while the 11th Aviation Command commands all Army Reserve Aviation Assets. Likewise, functional commands are responsible for command of units of the same or similar capabilities regardless of peacetime geographic location, but are not, as a headquarters, deployable. The training structure has been transformed in order to streamline command and control. Instead of multiple training divisions, each with its own geographic area of responsibility, the new structure features four training commands responsible for specific categories of training throughout the United States. Each command is configured for either initial entry training, advanced individual training schools, leader development or battle command training. These commands train soldiers of the Army Reserve, Army National Guard and the active component, through formal classroom and hands-on training. Two training support commands under the 1st United States Army, designated 1st Army East and 1st Army West, provide customized, realistic unit-specific and operation-specific training. Training Support Commands TSC plan, conduct and evaluate training exercises for Army, Army Reserve and Army National Guard units. TSC are organized under the United States 1st Army into two subordinate units. As a part of this realignment, most of the regional readiness commands were eliminated, leaving only seven globally. These were redesignated, Regional, Civil or Mission Support Commands. The four in the continental United States being, Regional, the geography for which each regional support command increased significantly, but all of the support commands were stripped of their former command and control authority over units in their respective territories. Instead, the support commands provide base operations and administrative support to Army Reserve units within their geographic region. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Current active reserve formations and units. Topic: <laughs> 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 Headquarters commands. Office of the Chief of Army Reserve OCAR at feet. Belvoir, Virginia and the Pentagon, Washington, D.C. OCAR provides the Chief of Army Reserve CAR with a staff of functional advisors who develop and execute Army Reserve plans, policies and programs, plus administer Army Reserve personnel, operations and funding. The CAR is responsible for plans, policies and programs affecting all Army Reserve soldiers, including those who report directly to the Army. OCAR is composed of specialized groups that advise and support the CAR on a wide variety of issues. United States Army Reserve Command USARC at Fort Bragg, North Carolina Through USARC, the CAR commands all Army Reserve units. USARC is responsible for the staffing, training, management and deployment of its units to ensure their readiness for Army missions. The Army Reserve consists of three main categories of units, operational and functional, support, and training. Due to Base Realignment and Closure Act, the headquarters of USAR has moved to F.T. Bragg. <laughs> operational and functional commands 3rd Medical Command Deployment Support, in Forest Park, GA. 7th Mission Support Command, in Kaiserslautern, Germany 75th Innovation Command, in Houston, TX 76th Operational Response Command, in Salt Lake City, UT 79th Sustainment Support Command, in Los Alamitos, CA 200th Military Police Command, at Fort Meade, MD 335th Signal Command, Theater, in East Point, GA 377th Sustainment Command Theater, in Belle Chasse, L.A. 412th Theater Engineer Command, in Vicksburg, M.S. 416th Theater Engineer Command, in Darien, Ill. 807th Medical Command Deployment Support, at Fort Douglas, U.T. Army Reserve Medical Command, in Pinellas Park, F.L. Army Reserve Aviation Command, at Fort Knox, K.Y. Army Civil Affairs and Psychological Operations Command Airborne, at Fort Bragg, N.C. Military Intelligence Readiness Command, at Fort Belvoir, V.A. Support commands 
First Mission Support Command, at Fort Buchanan, Puerto Rico, providing support in Puerto Rico and United States Virgin Islands. 9th Mission Support Command, at Fort Shafter, High, under operational control of Army Pacific, providing support in Hawaii, Alaska, American Samoa, Japan, South Korea, Guam and Saipan. 63rd Regional Support Command, in Mountain View, California, providing support in California, Nevada, New Mexico, Arizona, Texas, Oklahoma and Arkansas. 81st Regional Support Command, at Fort Jackson, SC, providing support in Florida, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Kentucky, Tennessee and Puerto Rico. 85th Support Command, in Arlington Heights, Illinois, provides training and logistical support to 1st Army. 88th Regional Support Command, at Fort McCoy, Y, providing support in Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, North Dakota, South Dakota, Utah, Colorado, Nebraska, Kansas, Wisconsin, Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri and Ohio. 99th Regional Support Command, at Joint Base McGuire-Dix Lakehurst, NJ, providing support in New Jersey, New York, New Hampshire, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, Vermont, Rhode Island, West Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, Maine, Connecticut and Virginia U.S. Army Reserve Legal Command, in Gaithersburg, M.D. Training commands 80th Training Command, the Army School System, in Richmond, VA. 94th Training Division, Force Sustainment, at Fort Lee, VA. 100th Training Division, Operational Support, at Fort Knox, KY. 102nd Training Division, Maneuver Support, at Fort Leonard Wood, Mo. 84th Training Command, Combat Support Training, at Fort Knox, KY. Southern Training Division, in Houston, TX. Atlantic Training Division, at Joint Base McGuire-Dix-Lakehurst, NJ Gulf Training Division, in Birmingham, AL Great Lakes Training Division, at Fort Sheridan, IL Pacific Training Division, in Dublin, CA 78th Training Division, Operations, at Joint Base McGuire-Dix-Lakehurst, NJ 86th Training Division, Decisive Action, at Fort McCoy, Y 91st Training Division Operations, in Halone, CA. 108th Training Command Initial Entry Training, in Charlotte, North Carolina, under Operational Control of Training and Doctrine Command. 95th Training Division Initial Entry Training, at Fort Sill, OK. 98th Training Division Initial Entry Training, at Fort Benning, GA. 104th Training Division Leader Training, at Joint Base Lewis McCord, WA. Topic. Individual Ready Reserve The Individual Ready Reserve IRR consists of individuals who are active reservists but not assigned to a particular active reserve unit. Members of the IRR are encouraged to take advantage of training opportunities and are eligible for promotion provided all requirements are met. Topic. Retired Reserve The retired reserve consists of soldiers who have retired from either the active or reserve components of the Army but have not reached the age of 60. Other components The Army of the United States is the official name for the conscripted force of the Army that may be raised at the discretion of the United States Congress, often at time of war or mobilization for war. The Army of the United States was first established in 1940 and its last use of the AUS was in 1974. The predecessors of the AUS were the National Army during World War I and the Volunteer Army during the American Civil War and Spanish-American War. See also Uniformed Services Employment and Reemployment Rights Act Comparable Organizations Army National Guard US Army United States Marine Corps Reserve United States Navy Reserve United States Coast Guard Reserve Air National Guard US 
Air Force Air Force Reserve Command US Air Force equals equals notes <laughs>